Welcome to Focus. In this video, we'll show you the new dashboard and how to set up your farm business after your switch from rural. If you have access to more than one business, you can switch between them here. This graph shows a quick overview of your projected cash flow. Any bank accounts you have will sit here. Click into balancing to view more. This area shows how many invoices are current, overdue or coming up. The pie chart will show categories you've spent or earned money. Click into each category for more detail. After you've made the switch, you will want to check and edit your business information. Allow other users to access your database. Check out our link for more info on access levels. Your existing users from Rural will need to be invited to sign up to Focus. Check your GST information here. The frequency and basis can be changed in your GST report. Enter your livestock weights and values for current, past or future years to get the most out of your livestock trading report. Add new bank accounts. Update your bank account details, opening balance and overdraft rates. Most banks have direct feeds into Focus. Download the form here to get started. If you already have bank feeds set up in Rural, they will transfer across to Focus. Set your default account if you have more than one, and don't forget to save as you go. Management tags track income and expenses for your other enterprises that operate under the same GST number. You'll get one complimentary management tag with your subscription. If you need to buy another, you can do this here. Add or edit your cost tags here. These are free and great for tracking expenses of projects on your farm. Set up your suppliers with direct feeds into focus. Your direct feeds from Rural will have transferred into focus and be showing as active. Sign up to Invoice Scanner to forward your invoices directly into Focus. Check out the video for more info. Your other parties are now contacts. Remove, add or edit them here. Enter the postal address to send tax invoices to your contacts. You can set your contacts to inactive here. Click here if you want to view your inactive contacts. For more information, make sure you check out our Help Centre or use the chat bubble to talk to the team.